So it's been a while since I've done a video of it and I was like, shit, I just shot him and it was all wet. Um, but like, how was Pogma, how I was doing that scroll saw show? Um, I know it was like a week ago, but I haven't done a vlog in two weeks, but, uh, guess what? I took second place on my hawk that I scrolled out. Uh, you'd see all the stuff if you followed me on Facebook and Instagram. The link should be in the description below. And, um, I took second place on that, and I got the Junior Scroller Award. Sorry about the lighting, it's dark, I'm heading up to my shop. I got a whole bunch of shit to show. I don't feel like going through it. I tried some new brands of blades and stuff. Got the board at the show. A bunch of shit. I got some shit at Hobby Lobby when we were in the field. No shot there. Also, it's a nice sign. It needs to go up. Two rules. I don't feel like reading that. I can't read it because it's a mirror image for me. Once I'm done recording, it should go up to normal, though, I think. Um, but yeah, I did good on that. Uh, chopped hay. Um, I made a Minecraft video the other day. Um, and I'm up working on uploading different parts of that because I'm recording it with that expression encoder that I always use. And it's got the 10-minute limit for recordings. So, yeah. Um, but I found a... I found a seed, I guess you can say. I found a seed because my Minecraft world I just play on, not for my life to play, which that let's play I haven't done a video of uh, in well over a year. And I, one day I was on my computer and I decided to play some Minecraft. And I've gotten pretty far and I found a stronghold in the world. And um, it's pretty close to the spawn, so I'm doing a video on it. And I'll put the seed for the, the, for the world in the description of that video. But, um,. I turned 17 uh, yesterday, I think it was. So, yeah, whatever. Someone said on Facebook that I look like I'm 35 or 40. I don't know. Wish I could look good while I was young yet. I'm a fat ass. Um, scrolled out another one of these deer. You might, this might be familiar if you've watched some of my scroll saw videos before. I scrolled out another one of these for a hunting banquet, and I'm going to donate it, and they're going to auction it off. For his money for something hunting related. Got, I got a cat of all pieces of right here. Um, yeah, I got a whole bunch of shit to show. There's a whole bunch of shit for that Junior Scroller. Wore the ribbon. There was a couple of pattern books, like scroll saw patterns. There was um, a pack of blades, some wood. Um, what else is that? And a gift certificate to the art factory. Which is in Plaidville. It's kind of by... If you ever watch How Farms Work, I haven't watched them well, but they live down in Potosi. Plaidville is kind of down by them. And I'm up here in Croco, which is um, about 20 minutes north of Green Bay. Um, so, yeah, but yeah, the show was in Dubuque, Iowa. And I think the show used to be in Plaidville, but um, I guess it's in Dubuque now. And I... I think someone was saying, oh, is it going to be somewhere else? I'm like, sure, well, it used to be in Platteville, but Platteville isn't that far from Dubuque. So, yeah. Got some duct tape, Hobby Lobby. Camel duct tape. That shows my redneck pride. Freaking right. Got some masking tape, too. I'm doing something I never used to do. Because I took an assembly techniques class at the show. And, yeah, like, yeah, there's um, a lot of people, you put tape on the wood when they're strolling. And um, I decided to do that for the first time. This is the first time I've ever put tape on the wood and then put the pattern on top of that when I'm scroll sawing, believe it or not. It's the first time I've ever done that. <sighs> yeah, we chopped our hay. Uh, chopper fucked up. Hit the rock hit the nut, wrecked the knife. And, and I think that's it. Um, my chainsaw that I got, it uh, was pissing oil, barn chain oil. And I had to go to Menards and get a new one of them. And get, it was covered under warranty. I went to Napa to get bar and chain oil. Well, I went to Napa because I googled bar and chain oil in places like Napa, AutoZone, all those places are coming up. I go there for my car stuff, though, for stuff for my car. And they told me Fleet Farm would be my best bet, so that's where I went. I went to Fleet Farm. And I got some bar and chain oil, and I guess at Fleet Farm... Why didn't I think of Fleet Farm before? I don't know. But at Fleet Farm, they got um, some stuff that's pre-mixed fuel for the chainsaw, like the oil and the gas. It's pre-mixed. So, yeah, um, yeah, I got new 
chainsaw and here I haven't, I don't know if I've used it. Well yeah, I've cut some of that stump out there with it and that's about it. Might use to put some branches on this hunting land we got. It's land, yeah we farm the land and we hunt on the land too. And we rent it and we farm some of it and just the rest of it's wood and we hunt in there. So yeah, and I think that's it. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you later I guess.